Last year I did a video showing how to make a PDF in Rails using a Ruby gem named Grover. Well since then I discovered a new library for writing PDFs called Prawn. And what I like about this Ruby gem is that it's built from the ground up to write a PDF directly as a byte stream. It has its own DSL for positioning elements on the PDF page and therefore doesn't need the intermediate dependency of an HTML to PDF converter the way that Wicked PDF or Grover does. It might take a little bit of practice to get familiar with the layout of commands of this PDF library, but it's fairly simple and seems to be more efficient. So what I'm going to do in this video is construct identical PDF files using Prawn, Grover, and Wicked PDF, and I'm going to benchmark the rendering performance to see if there's any meaningful difference in processing time. So let's begin. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is create a new branch for this inside of my stock notes project. I'm going to use the stock notes project as a base for running the benchmarks. And I am going to add the Ruby gems for Prawn, Grover, and Wikipedia, and then we'll write some templates to compare. So the next step is creating an interactor class to generate the report data that I'm going to share among the reports. Uh, if you take a look here, what I did was I made a services directory and I have this generate PDF report data file, which inside of it contains a class. And this is using the interactor design pattern. I kind of like to use very simple interactors where you have single purpose classes that you can call and it will do some unit of business logic. So as you can see here, uh, I have a couple of structures for how this PDF data is going to work. I plan on using these as inputs going into the PDF reports to be generated individually by each rendering library. And so let's take a look at what the data looks like when we generate it. So I'm going to do generate PDF report data dot call. Uh, and here is the report data. Whoops, looks like I uh, made a little mistake here on what's going to be this little total field. Uh, it's summing up these strings. I, I got to make those a decimal again. So I just won't do the string conversion over here. I'll do that in the report building step. All right, so this is going to be the report input data. All right, so here I've created a new interactor class called Generate PDF Prawn, where I'm using the Prawn library to create the PDF file. As you can see here, we have call. It's expecting the data that we made in the last step, and then it goes to build PDF, and then it's going to render that document as a file in the temp directory. Uh, when you look at the build PDF method here, you'll notice that I set some variables going into this, and then I use the prawn document new block to use the DSL that prawn provides us in setting up the page. And as you can see here, there's instructions like bounding box, which uh, are kind of like, well, they're kind of like absolute boxes in um, in CSS, as if you, if you were to make a div that has an absolute position, that's kind of what a bounding box is. There's also a table, and by the way, the table functionality is extracted to a separate gem called prawn table, so I had to add that. Now, this may not be the most effective way of doing this sort of thing, Prawn also gives you another way of accessing the DSL by use of a mixin called Prawn View. And what you would do to access that is you would take this Prawn View mixin and then you would, I would be importing it up here using the include, but I chose not to do that. I chose to just use the document block. Probably not the best looking code, but it works for now. And this, this is essentially your view template. But one thing that I do like about the way that Prawn works is that it's, if you look at the documentation, it's very oriented around a uh, piece of paper, a page. And that's kind of what PDFs are all about. They're about page layouts. Whereas with the other HTML to PDF converters, uh, you don't really have that direct control over how the page is going. So it might be a little bit more difficult to convert like what you think things would look like in HTML onto a printed piece of paper 
versus this, which gives you absolute control over how things appear on a page. So it's very good for making something like, let's say like an invoice. And along with that, it has a very convenient way of adding page numbers. Uh, I'm not gonna be using this feature right here because I don't really know how to do that in Wicked PDF and Grover, and I think trying to figure out how to do page numbers in those other PDF libraries is a little bit beyond the scope of what we're doing here. But anyway, let's get around to uh, creating a test set of data and taking a look at the PDFs and seeing what they look like. So here I'm going to generate the data, data PDF report data new.call. There we go with our test data. Now I'm going to take that test data and input that into our generate PDF function. Seems to have generated successfully. Let's pull it up from the file system and see what we get. Okay, so here's our PDF file. Looks good. Now the next step is I'm going to have to replicate this type of page using a view template in HTML so that I could try to get this to work with Wicked PDF and Grover and then bench test them for performance up against Prawn. So I'm going to try to replicate the exact same layout here. And by the way, I think to get the real value out of these coding examples, you'll probably want to take a look at them on the GitHub page. And I'm going to put a link to the specific tag for this video in the description below. So you could take a look at the source code and poke around in it yourself. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button because that gives this video more visibility and will allow other programmers like yourself to be able to find it. Okay, so at this point, I'm in the process of trying to set up the template for Wicked PDF and replicate what I just did in Prawn using Wicked. And what I've got here so far is I created a generate PDF Wicked interactor or service object, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it has a call method just like the Prawn one does. S similar type of interface, you pass the report data and there's an optional file path argument. Uh, and then it's going to build the PDF using a controller so instead of using the DSL that Prime provides you, the way that Wicked PDF works is that you render the data as HTML in an HTML template, and then you're going to take that controller, render the data in the view template. Uh, the view template HTML gets put into Wicked PDF where it gets processed into a PDF using WebKit to HTML or WK HTML to PDF, the background dependency. Uh, here's my controller, pretty simple. It's just a, a regular controller, there's nothing fancy about it. I'm telling it uh, which template to use here using the main layout and main template. And as you can see at this point, I've just got the very basic layout file and just the hello world. I'm just trying to make sure that it could generate the PDF file. I haven't formatted the actual report yet. But in trying to test this out, I found out that I'm missing the WK HTML to PDF dependency. So uh, we've got to install it per the instructions here. And it says that the easiest way to do it is to add the binary as a gem. So let's give that a try. As I mentioned earlier, I had to add the prawn table gem Wikipedia to binary. Now hopefully this works. Generate the data, and there we go. Let's take a look at it in the file system, and here we go. Hello world. All right, so now I'm just going to finish out the rest of that template, and we'll see how it looks, and then I'm going to redo the same thing. I could probably use the same template to do Grover. Grover just uses a different backend from Wicket PDF, and uh, we'll do a comparison using a, a benchmarking gem to see which one is the fastest. All right, so as I'm continuing to make progress here, one thing that I want to point out is a little quirk I noticed about Wicked PDF is, so I have a table header here with the um, uh, column names. Look at that. When it bleeds onto the next page, it's overlaying the table header. So that means I can't use the table headers like tables are supposed to be. I'm going to have to change this to just be a regular TR. Let's see if this fixes the problem. Yeah, still not perfect. Okay, now I'm fast forwarding a little bit here to where I have the Wicked PDF 
HTML template done. So as we can see here, I didn't do much to change the code, but let's take a look at the finished product. So here's what it looks like in Prawn, and I really like the look of this report. By look, I mean I kind of like the crispness of it. When I go here to the Wicked PDF version, I was having a little bit of problems with the font, and I'm not going to hassle with that. I'm just using the default font, I think, that it is giving me. But anyway, this doesn't look quite as pretty as the Prawn report. I don't know quite why, but in particular, these table borders look a little bit messy. It just doesn't look too great, but I guess it's good enough for government work. <laughs> So uh, we could um, we could probably go ahead and, and just bench test this. So we know the aesthetic difference, but I mean, what we're really trying to test for is see if there's a major difference in performance between Prawn and Wicked to see if we could if one is any significantly better than another to help you make a decision on which library you want to use. Now, the next thing that I want to do before I do the bench testing is I'm going to do the same thing in Grover, which uses a different rendering engine. As you might remember from the um, previous video that I did, Wicked PDF makes use of the WKHTML to PDF dependency, which it uses to convert the HTML into this PDF file. And I think I think one of the problems I might be having here is that the version that is kind of stuck on because of another dependency called Qt, it's actually using an older version of WebKit which doesn't have some of the newer HTML features. So maybe that's why this looks a little bit rough. Grover uses Chromium, so why don't we take a look at how that looks when we uh, redo this and, and maybe we'll have better aesthetics. All right, so here I got my service object or interactor class now ready for generating a PDF in Grover and I pretty much just copy and pasted the wicked PDF interactor over to this and just made a few little changes. I added the options which Grover needed and I just changed the command for generating the PDF and it rendered a byte stream. Pretty much the same workflow in fact, if this was going to be a production application, I might want to consider extracting some of this code into a base class like this build PDF right here and these templates that are being rendered. So I'm using the same exact slim templates for the Wicked PDF as I am to build the Grover PDF. Let's give it a run now in console. So here I uh, have the command. I'm going to run that. And let's pull it up now in the file system. Okay, so here's the PDF file. All right, that's how it looks. Now let's compare the three different files we have. Here is what it looks like being made in Prawn. Okay. Here's what it looks like being rendered in Wicked PDF. All right. And here is the file being rendered in Grover. Now, keep in mind that this uses the exact same HTML to begin with as this. And you can see there is an aesthetic difference in the rendering engine between Wicked PDF and Grover. So now at this point, point, I'd like to bench test these and see which one has the best performance. So far, you know, personally, I kind of like the aesthetic. I think the crispness of using Prawn looks the best, and I think that's because this one is designed for making PDFs, whereas the other two take HTML pages and try to convert them into PDF. So let's go ahead and benchmark these and see how they perform. And for helping us run the benchmark, I'm going to use this Ruby gem here called Benchmark. And what you do here is you set up a block, run some code, and then it will print out a report with some measurements. So let's write some code for this. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to use Benchmark. So I tried to get it to generate some stats, and the numbers it's putting out don't seem realistic. So here it's saying that it took Prawn 10 seconds to generate 10 PDFs. 
but only 0.2 seconds for Wikipedia. It's something doesn't seem right, and I think it has to do with the controller rendering not registering when I'm using Ruby Benchmark. So screw that. I'm just going to make my own benchmark test. So here I'm not using the benchmark gem anymore. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just running this thing multiple times and I'm recording the time that it's starting the operation time that it elapsed and I'm going to record exactly how much time it takes and print off a little report. Uh, and as you can see here with my initial run with uh, 10 times, it looks like Prawn is taking 10 seconds to run 10 PDFs. So that's doing about one per second. Uh, Grover surprisingly seems to be the slowest so far with n equals 10 at 13 seconds and Wicked the fastest. That's something that I didn't expect. I thought the controller rendering would probably be the slowest part, but this is interesting. Uh, I'm going to run this with uh, with 100 experiments now and see what happens when we change n to 100. All right, so here we have some results uh, that have a better data set using 100 times that regenerated the PDF. I ran this uh, regenerated the PDF 100 times and checked how much time was elapsed for each experiment. Seems like Wicked PDF was the fastest with Prawn coming in second and Grover uh, being the slowest. So there you have it. We've taken a close look at three different Ruby PDF libraries and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button on this video and subscribe my channel for more content like this and hit that bell notification so that you know the next time I do another Ruby on Rails or other type of tech tutorial. So I'll see you in the next video.